Hey everyone, welcome back. It's me, Eaton. This is one of those games that uh, some of you might have heard of. I'm talking about people my generation from the uh, 80s and early 90s. But some of you youngsters who were just born into this kind of uh, generation of an instant access of everything. Internet age, as I like to call it. You probably never heard of this game, and uh, I would like to share this with you. I played this game a long time ago, back in the uh, early 90s when I was younger, and uh, this was very a interesting espionage spy game way back, and I just felt like I should be sharing this with you guys so you can see how games back in the days were being done. Uh, the best way to explain the games from the 90s and uh, early 80s were like FMV. FMV was this new thing, uh, which was the video footage incorporated with interactive uh, click and point style of gameplay, which means you would have pre-recorded footage of actors and then you would have multiple different scenes and choices that you would make while you're playing the game. For more information, FNV, you guys can check it out and uh, learn more about it on Wikipedia. I'm not going to go into all the details of how were games being done back in the days, but this is just uh, a little brief introduction to this sort of uh, games. I felt like going back to the old games, revisiting them, playing them, sharing it with you guys. Uh, I was thinking about what should I play, what should I do on this channel. I figured let's play some of the old games. Let's share this with you. So this is how I'm going to do this. When I'm when there's a cut scene, when they're showing a scene, I'm not going to say much. I'm just going to let the scene run so you guys can hear what they're saying. So let me just give you a quick uh little synopsis of this game so you guys know what it's about. Uh here. This is about uh you play basically a CIA rookie agent named Thorn. Now, during his training, this rookie uh, CIA agent Thorn receives a word that a Russian uh, president candidate has been assassinated, and uh, it happened during a live uh, feed on a TV. And they think that. Uh, one of the uh, assassins might have been connected uh, by the code name of uh, God. If I can remember, what was the code name? I think Harmonica. Yeah, this assassin was uh, known as the uh, Harmonica. Kind of alias for the Jackal, but he calls him he or she. I'm not going to spoil it. Calls him a uh, Harmonica, but it goes deeper than that. Anyway, so that's the uh, quick synopsis for this game. All right, so without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this game for you guys. Let me just double check my chat room and uh, we are good to go. All right, here we go. Uh, everything's set. Let's go. And remember, I'm not going to say much during a uh, cutscene. There's going to be a cutscene. In the beginning of this game, we're going to explain to you what's going on. All right, so I'm going to shut up here and let the game go. You want to know what I believe? I'll tell you what I believe. I was there when JFK got his first look at those YouTube photos. CIA is the eyes and ears of this country. What we see isn't always pretty. Things never change. Murders are still running countries. Armies are still massing at borders. People are still dying. Some things the president Politician, 
Ignorance can be the key to survival. Deep inside an Asian jungle of 30,000 miles above Russia's nuclear arsenal. In the end, it's all about human assets. There will always be an older James. The best you can do is to treat your people right and watch every move they make. Get rid of all of them. The great game. Alright, so this is the uh, beginning of the game. Let's check our briefcase really quick. Ah, nothing there, I just put it back. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. Your personal digital assistant provides access to four critical services. Data link your connection to other government agencies. News link access to the latest news. Web link your gateway to the online world. And com link a mailbox and archive for secure communications. For details, use the help button. You have a message waiting. Click the com link button to receive messages. All right, so I'm playing a character by the name of Thorn. He's the uh, CIA rookie agent. And this is his uh, comm link where he can check his messages, look at what's going on in the news, go on the internet, all sorts of different things. This is pretty much a useful tool that he's going to be using throughout the game, trying to connect the dots to see what's going on, who is behind who, and that sorts of stuff. Uh, all right, so I got a message here. I'm going to go ahead and check it out, see what it is. Priority one, DDO, Warhurst, Eugene J. See, everything's kind of in code in certain uh, code text, which you have to know what they are. Nothing it's as plain as simple as like, okay, meet me here, meet me there. So what they're doing basically, it's uh, they're using code names for everything. You heard of the code name Paperclip, right? Anyway. Uh, there's something interesting you guys should know about this game before I click this here. Uh, the original person who created this game in 1992, I believe, after the game was released, a couple of months after that, mysteriously, he died. Anyway, and he was the uh, ex-CIA agent. That's, that's it. Just I want you guys to know that in case you guys didn't know. So that's kind of creepy. All right, so we got to go meet him in the lobby. So that was the message. You can also check the archives right here if you want to see your previous messages and stuff like that. So far, I only have one message. Now I have to go back to Langley, Virginia and talk to him. All right, so I'm going to close my PDA. I can also check the news if I want. I click here on the news and see what's going on. Daily. So you can read about the news, what's happening in the world, you know. Washington uh, NID speaking to the nation this week in radio addresses President Brooks begins spending political cash. He'll certainly... So you can see all the stuff that's going on in the world. I'm not going to read it for you, but just... Uh, they Close that up.
See, that's the guy, William Colby, CIA director that created this game. Chosen Jeffries to run this op. He's drafted David Holt from the DI and Jamie Seaton from SP as in house support. He's also going to need a dependable operative in the field, which is why you're all here. Lang, Asai, Parker, and so on. Now, Gene promises me you're the best of the new crop. Now you've got to keep that promise. I'll make sure one of them does. I want you all at the farm at 0600. Bruce has designed your regiment. Top performer gets the mission and reports back here for the full briefing. Good luck. All right, so this is my training. You know, this is beginning. Let's go to the farm. And that's what they actually call it. Like when you go to a training, this is what I heard. Like if you go there, they call it the farm. That's where you go uh, and train yourself. You might have guys seen that movie with uh, Al Pacino and uh, God, what's the name of the other actor that was in it? Uh, they call it the farm. They use that code name in the movie. So this is how the games back in the days were done with the FNV. We just kind of click and point, you move left, you move right. And uh, here, let's examine some of the stuff here. Let's see what he's got. What is this? Nah, can I cannot use this right now. So this is a little manual book about the guns that I just picked up here. Let's see what this is. Hold on. Let me check his messages. Hold on. So the one's right here. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, this is Morrison. We've had a minor snap boom down here. I'm calling in a 147. One of my men just found an active gate lock. The switch ray number seven. Uh, no big deal, sir. I'm at one of the maintenance points. I just forgot to lock that lucky. Frank, it's Dr. Cohen over at InfoSoft. Listen, I just wanted to thank you for resolving those LOS issues on the IR site. Hamlin, 
Yeah, I just wanted to adjust the volume so you guys can hear it. I think that's all the messages I have for right now. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. I guess this is my office right now. Let's see what else I got here. Oh shit, I know this actor, man. That guy was in the uh, bunch of movies. I have to follow him, but before I do that, let me explore some more stuff here. See what I got here. All right, let's go. I was just checking some of the stuff. You know, this thing about these old games, click and point, you can pretty much explore anything. Click and point, see all these photos, check them out. Okay, let's go to the image analysis. So that's that's what happened just currently. Uh, he just find out this is the character I'm playing, Torn. That the Russian uh, candidate has been assassinated. If a picture's worth a thousand words, these puppies will give you war and peace. Get somebody's license plate, cross check their face. Hell, you can even see if they're an innie or an outie. What we have here is a series of puzzles. You've got a couple of surveillance images, and I've got a couple of questions. Use the image analysis tools and your noggin, and we'll see how you stack up against the others. Okay, so my job here as a uh, rookie, my first day in CIA, is to uh, analyze the video of the uh, shooting assassination of this uh, Russian candidate for president. He was just recently assassinated. So my job here is to analyze the video, look at it, and see what I can find in there. So this is where image analysis comes in handy for you to double check everything that happened in the video. So that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to check this analysis. Okay, the question one is, what is the uh, license plate number of the brown sedan? You will need to zoom in and optical character enhance OCE functions. Use the report button and bottom of the tool to send an email when you're done. Okay, so that's what I have to do. I have to look for the uh, license plate number on this brown sedan. Apparently, that's the uh, car that was involved with the assassination. Entering National Photographic Interpretation Center. Okay, this aerial shows a ranch house where some Mexican drug smugglers are having a little summit. Use the zoom and the OCE to enhance the text on that brown sedan's license plate. It should be one of our DEA boys who sold out to the bad guys. Actually, I apologize. This is uh, not the one in Russia. This is just a training right now for me on the farm. You know, and they just wants to test me to see how well I hold up on here. All right, let me zoom in. 
There's a sedan right there. Let me use the OCE. So this is the OCE. This is the uh, a device that scans the picture and sharpens the image to a certain a uh, object or detail that you're looking for. All right, there's a the license plate. Okay, let me uh, report. So it's a 2PT1398. Opening email gateway. So, yeah, 2PYX398. That's the one right here. Okay, so according to the surveillance photo, the license on the car was 2PYX398, Thorn. So I'm going to send this to uh, Langley database. Absolute crap. Let's try one more time and see if you can do a little better. If I show this to Bruce, he'll think you were guessing the whole time. Probably would have done a lot better if you had. See, I made a mistake. <laughs> that actually wasn't the the license plate. Hold on. Entering National Photographic Interpretation Center. Okay, this area was a ranch house where some Mexican drug smugglers are having a little summit. Use the zoom and the OCE to enhance the text on that brown sedan's license plate. It should be one of our DEA boys who sold out to the bad guys. See, I made a mistake. I, I was looking at the SUV, and I should have been looking for the brown sedan right here. Okay, let me use the OCE now. All right, here we go. 26GX829. Two G G X eight two nine. Yep. Message sent. Let's see what it says now. Great, Certainly all right. You did about the same as the others, except for a sigh, of course. She smoked it. Now let's try for real. How many tanks in the area have their enemies running? You will need to zoom in and overlay the functions to compare satellite images with the infrared data. Tanks are usually bigger and turrets are dead giveaway. Report when you're done. Ugh, this is gonna be a tough one. Hmm. Seconds and infrared of the same place. Use the overlay to see how many tanks have their engines running. All right, let me look at the overlay. Let me see how many they have. Select images to overlay. I'll use the infrared. Two images are required for overlay. Select images to overlay. Image one and two blended. All right, let me zoom in. So I got one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll say seven, right? Opening email gateway. I think it's seven tanks. That's what I counted. I would say seven. Hold on. I'm not so sure yet. Uh, I think seven tanks, man. Message sent. Absolute crap. Ah, shit. A little better. If I show this to Bruce, he'll think you were guessing the whole time. Probably would have done a lot better if you had. All right. Let's try one more time. The first one's a sat shot of a Syrian military base in the Becca Valley. Second's an infrared of the same place. Use the overlay to see how many tanks have their engines running. Select images to overlay. Image one and two blended. All right, let me zoom out a bit. I think one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one right here. I think it's eight. All right. Opening email gateway. Eight running tanks. He's got to be eight. No way it's 11, man. I counted that. I think it's eight. Message sent. Oh shit, it's not eight. God damn it, I gotta double check again. If I show this to Bruce, you'll think you were guessing the whole time. Probably would have done a lot better if you had. <laughs> I gotta compare it again. Hold on, let me look. Select images to overlay. Image one and two blended. That is one, there's two, there's three. There's four, there's five, there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's say six. Opening email gateway. I think it's six. That's all I can make out. I think six. Message sent. This is a new gadget from s &T. Very sexy. If someone smashes the unit or steals the film, there's a chip in here that stores low-res backups. Downright sneaky, huh? We've got a camcorder in the works, but I'm not sure they work out the bugs. All right. Time to get serious. Dead serious. I want you to head out to the zone. Bruce and I will meet you there. All right. Let's head out to the zone. So this was my first couple of tests that I was going through. Uh, they want to make sure that uh, I'm ready for my first assignment. Here we go. Let's go to the zone. Okay, basic stuff. There's a squadron of men down there with one mission to drop you. Shoot. 
shoot or be shot. Got it? Best operatives really need to fire weapons. When they do, it's just once. You miss, you die. Here's your piece. Standard field sidearm, modified to shoot a laser pulse. Try these new target tracking combat goggles. They track targets, isolate buildings, even generate real-time laser readings. Use them to gain a tactical advantage. It's the only advantage you'll have. Remember, Thorn, targets are always hard. So use the double tap. Chest first to drop them, then the kill shot, right between the eyes. Forget headshots, kid. I've seen point blank hits penetrate, curve around the skull, and shoot out the other side. When you want the kill, you go for the throat. I stand corrected. Now, make me proud out there. Okay, Thorn Air Pieces, sir. Here's what you've got to do. Get across the zone, and fast. See the display on your right? That's an overhead view, courtesy of our satellite. The light blue mark is you. The enemy is either red or yellow, depending on how dangerous he is. He can see you. He's red. If you're not in his line of sight, then he's yellow. Now, green areas are vegetation. Use those for cover. Brown areas are elevation where the snipers live. The black area is open country. Get in there, and you're asking for it. All right, let's do this. You're no good to us in a body bag. Get back down there. Everybody else aced it. I expect no less from you. And remember, aim a little higher than life. Like at the enemy. Okay, Thorn Air Pieces sir. Here's what you got to do. Get across the zone and fast. See the display on your right? That's an overhead view courtesy of our satellite. The light blue marker is you. The enemy is either red or yellow depending on how dangerous he is. He can see you. He's red. If you're not in his line of sight, then he's yellow. Now, green areas of vegetation use those for cover. Brown areas are elevation where the snipers live. The black area is open country. Get in there and you're asking for it. All right, let's do this. I'm going to go on the right. Motherfucker, it was right there. God damn it. You're no good to this the body. Shit. From you. And remember, aim a little higher than life. Like at the enemy. Alright, let's do this again. Here's what you gotta do. Get across the zone and fast. See the display on your right? All right. Got you. Got you. All right, I'm clear here. Well, let me go in the bushes right here. Should be able to get a better shot here. Okay, here they come, here they come. Got him.
Right in the neck. Gotcha. <laughs> Done. All right, who's next? Fuck, I need more bullets. God damn it. I should save my bullets, man. I missed it. I gotta get close to that beacon. Let's go. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck, fuck. Right in the neck. Alright, let's continue. Fuck. Did it. Hey, so I cheated. There's no rules with the field kid. Just because you're There was nothing you could have done, kid. The sniper who took Bruce down was the best I've ever seen. Don't let him shake you. The company lost a great one today. Bruce Jeffries would have made us proud. He would have made them forget the traitors and the sellouts, those damn shootings in front of our gates. Bruce Jeffries would have given us back our good name. But now, now it's up to you, Thorn. You made it in here, you can make it out there. Settle the score. All right, so I gotta go find out who this uh, sniper was that killed Jeffrey, so. Let's go back to Langley. Actually, let me check my PDA right here. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. OK, 
Okay, let's go back. Let me see if I got any messages. All right, just give me one second, guys. I got to check something really quick. All right, guys, sorry about that. Just had to check something really quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Okay. All right, so I have to go back to Langley. They're going to brief me as to what I have to do for my first mission. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to exit uh, PDA. Okay. Close it. I'll go back to Langley, Virginia. I'm going to talk to DCI Sterling. Then I'll go to my office. He's a director of the CIA. Another disaster for the agency. We can't afford this after range. We certainly can't expect Sterling's help. Remember, he's a presidential appointee, not a company man. Thorne, Bruce was impressed with your performance, so I've decided that you'll handle the primary investigation, the one he was supposed to run. We found the weapon used in Bruce's killing, custom modified 30 6 with optical scope. No prints, nothing. I put Lang on. Parker and I will follow up on other leads. Jamie and David will be your internal support. The team will pool all its intel. I've also set up a back channel for private communications. Okay, here's the story. Two weeks ago, the agency received intelligence from a well-placed source in Moscow, codenamed Birdsong. He predicted two assassinations. The first one, Fyodor Dubansky, a right-wing candidate for the Russian presidency. The second, our own president. Now, this intel was initially classified as B minus, unreliable, and we didn't act on it. Here's B minus. Oh shit, man. Blew his head of right off. With the Bansky dead, Russian President Polyakov faces serious competition in his re-election bid. Arkady Trebanov, an entrepreneur turned politician, will now get the conservative vote and build a coalition that can vote him into office. Okay, Birdsong's intel is now A+. Plus means the president is in real danger. President Brooks is planning a high-profile visit to Russia. He's going to sign a deal treaty, the first one with real teeth. He wants to give Polyakov a boost. Yes, but if this situation doesn't cool, I'll have to talk to the president about Brooks moving. And that is a conversation I do not want to have. Now, Thorne, 
I want you to meet with this birdsong and find out exactly what else he knows. We can only reach birdsong through dead drops. No face-to-face -face meeting. It'll take time. Well, you're gonna have to do better. I want any information birdsong has ASAP. A lot of good people in danger. Danger's what they do, isn't it? Why don't we analyze the video first? See if there are any additional clues, like who pulled the trigger. I don't care however you proceed. Just get me answers and fast. Now this is my ass on the line. Well, we have our orders. Okay, so I'm going to have to go ahead and analyze the uh, video of that Russian candidate president being assassinated. Because it happened on our turf. And uh, it looks bad on our side. Alright, let me just check uh, Torn's office really quick. So this is my office right here. Let me check my computer. Let me see if I have any messages. No messages, nothing. All right, let me exit. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. All right. Congratulations, Halt David M. Assassination injury. All right, so this is the video of the assassination. So I'll have to uh, rescan and overlay and look for the clues who might have pulled the trigger. Now, when I do this video imagery it might be graphic you know because uh, i might have to go back and forth back and forth to see who pulled the trigger so i'm just letting you guys know it might be graphic The Kennedy assassination tools will create a 3D model from video stills of the uh, Dubansky assassination. You'll find them on your workstation. Jamie Seaton. All right. Okay, there it is right here. Zoom functions are available on both the camera and the 3D model. Use the zoom to isolate impact points and bullet holes. Connect bullet holes with the trajectory pointer. The Kennedy assassination tools will complete a trajectory. Isolate the origin point of the trajectory and locate the assassin. File accessed. Dubansky assassination. Compartment level critic. Wow, I didn't know that they even have this uh, Kennedy assassination tool. All right, so let's go ahead and use this. Building crime scene model. Red Square, Moscow. Local time, 11.13 a.m. Okay, that's the president right here. Let me zoom in. Hold on. Thank you. 
this is gonna be tough. You know, this shooter could have shot from anywhere here. Okay, let me try. Linking to Office of Information Resources. All right, so what this is is a mix and match. This is the uh, analyzer that captures tools from source video file on the Bansky assassination. And what it does basically, it tries to mix and match certain faces that might have been involved in a shooting. So let's go and try it and Next process that. I see it right here. There he is. See, there's a guy right there on the window. Okay, let's let's search. Searching. No match found. 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 All right. Okay, let's go back. Let me zoom in and get better, uh, better view. Okay, that's better. Let's mix and match. Mix and match system initialized. Searching. No match found. Hair. This could be it. Hold on. Searching. No match found. I think this might be it. Let me see the hair. Hold on. Okay, let's try it now. I think this might be it. This looks kind of like him. So let's try it. Let's see. Searching. No match found. Mm. Uh, I think the hair is. The hair is brown. Okay, he's a male. Searching. No match found. Hmm. Okay, maybe his hair is dark. Let's try. Searching. No match found. This might be it, but let me see the nose. The nose is something that kind of, uh, let's try now.
I don't think he's this guy. I mean, he, he doesn't seem like he has a trigger or a gun or anything. Let me go back. Let me zoom out. Let me, uh... Hold on. What is this? I see something here. Maybe this guy. Let me mix and match. Mix and match system initialized. Alright, so this guy has a little bit of hair. Um... Okay. Let me see the nose. This could be him. I don't know, maybe. Could be him. Let me try. Searching. No match found. Shit. Maybe this is it. Hold on. All right, here we go. Let me see who this person is. Phillips, Thomas Jefferson. Okay, former operation officer, absent since June twenty third, nineteen ninety four. Whereabouts unknown. Marshal status classified. Children unknown. Date of birth September twelfth, nineteen sixty one. Born in Iowa, Lamarche, personal affiliation, the Shooters Club, well, Memphis, Tennessee, National Merit so Society Ops, uh, training coordinator, Langley. Mm. Let's report this guy. He might have something. Opening email gateway. He seems like he might have something to do with it. Let me see. Thomas J. Harmonica Phillips, yeah. Message sent. I think it's it's him. That's him. Let me see his history. Okay, so I have to use this IA, which is the uh, identification armory, to find out uh, ballistics and uh, what sort of weapon he was using, because nobody heard a shot. So he must have been using very compressed a uh, rifle. All right, so let me go back, close PDA, pinpoint. SMT. 
Clearance confirmed. Compartment pinpoint accessed by Case Officer Thorne. Okay, so let me see. Um, seven millimeter dissolving projectile. Uh, I'll go with the nine millimeter. Okay, that's the primer. That's the case. Powder. Hardened swag. A and B insert. Advanced molecular breakdown. Let me use the image analysis and. Uh, Try to figure out. I have to look at the uh, the bullet and casing and all that. All right. Let me uh, let me zoom out. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Okay, so the bullet must have exited here somewhere. No, I don't see anything here. What about here? I don't think it's a 9 mil. I think it's a 38, man. Because uh, probably a hollow point 38. And the reason I say that is because um, the way the bullet exited the uh, the wound, it took the half the head off. So it's got to be something 38, close to 40, 45. So I'd, I'd probably say 38. Hollow point thirty eight. Thirty odd six. Uh yeah, I would say thirty odd six hollow point. Message sent. Okay, let me go back. Let me see the source weaponry. Hold on.
That's not the projector. It doesn't add up. Check your facts and try again. Hmm. So it's not 30 odd six. It's not 38. All right, let me go back and try one more time. This this looks like a shotgun, man. Looks like a shotgun. Look, one, two, three. Look at these projectiles. I think it's a shotgun. Hold on. Yeah, definitely a shotgun. Because remember, like, half of his head was gone. You know, when, uh, like, the other side of his head was totally blown off. So it has to be a shotgun. By the what range did he use that shotgun, man? See, that's, that's what I'm guessing. It has to be a shotgun. Right, let me go back. Let me uh, make a report. It's a box shot, yeah. It was a box shot. I'm guessing it's a box shot, man. It has to be because you saw those groups of uh, bullet holes. I say nucleus. Message sent. Now, let me go back. Hey, Thor. Try not to guess so much. I'm not guessing. I'm just trying to pinpoint what I think it might have been. Okay, so this is just something that I find out that the uh, ex-CIA man assassinated foreign political figure. That's the guy, Thomas J, a.k.a. Harmonica. And uh, now they're thinking he might have been connected to assassinating Bruce Jeffries, too. Right, let's go back. Okay, let me learn more about this Thomas Harmonica Phillips. Phillips, Thomas Jefferson. Hmm. Oh, let's look at his acquaintances. Mortimer Crandall, chairman, uh, Intel Bank Investment Group. Ooh, so he was connected to a bunch of investors. Hmm. They might be in on it too. Okay, these are all the people there, like, uh, in my field, in my department, in CIA. Let me go talk to science and tech so supplier. She might maybe know something about that box shot that uh, assassinated the uh, Russian candidate. Jane okay, she's from Alexandria, Virginia. Okay. Okay, let me go back. Let me go home. Welcome to SMT. Clearance confirmed. 
Compartment pinpoint accessed by case officer Thorne. Hmm. Powder. Let me see. It could be this too, honestly. Because uh, it was something stealthy. It could not be a... Hold on. Hold on a second. The eyewitnesses say they didn't hear any shot. So this has to be something manufactured that it's neither a uh, gun. It has to be something manufactured. I'm thinking maybe some sort of projectile, needle pack projectile. Let's see. Opening email gateway. This is where I'm guessing. You know, I could be wrong, but I'm just guessing. Because it's something that has many groups of holes. And uh, let me let's try a needle projectile because if it's something stealth, there has to be that. Message sent. See, it was a needle projectile. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Shit. Oh, fuck, I didn't save any games. Shit. 